welcome to my channel that's all about helping you and your pet live the best life together. Today I want to talk about stink pot turtles or common musk turtles. If you follow me on Instagram, you may already know that I've been wanting to redo this tank. I just don't like it anymore. I didn't know what I was going to do, if I was going to add fish, if I was going to make it more of a frog or a lizard enclosure. I just completely wanted something new and I didn't know what. And then I saw for sale these stink pot turtles. These were at Fish Addicts in Langley in British Columbia and I knew that this was what I was going to do with the tank when I saw the turtles. So the first thing to do is get the tank ready. I trimmed the moss that was super overgrown and I took out plants that weren't doing so well. After that I did a water change and I scrubbed the glass and cleaned off all the algae and just completely cleaned the tank up. Next we put up a dock for the turtles to bask on. My boyfriend made this dock from a few other random parts that we already had around. We are reusing an old bottom from a turtle thing that's going to work good for our small turtle. What I did was I ran some fishing line through it. You've missed pretty much all the good parts but here's for the finale. Like always, that's fun. Gonna go like this. String it to height. And then put the back ones on. Come back in a minute and we'll be done. Then I added some driftwood. I needed some larger rocks to keep the driftwood down. I'm also going to be keeping these rocks in here and I'm going to be adding more rocks and more driftwood. I'm adding more rocks and more driftwood so that the turtles can reach the surface easier. They like their water to be fairly shallow and I know that the way this is isn't good for them. So they're going to have kind of a structure that they can climb up. These turtles like to kind of climb on rocks and driftwood and make their way up to the tank kind of by climbing and gliding instead of swimming and working really hard. So I'm going to be adding that stuff in there. I just didn't have it right now at this moment. And next is a trip to the store for the turtles. So when it comes to the appearance of the common musk turtle, the younger turtles have a higher point on the back of their shell. You can see this with my turtles. This, these high points will flatten out a bit when they get older and when they're adults. Their head also has two parallel yellow strips from their nose to their neck. These yellow strips may fade as they get older or they may stay the same. These turtles are in the wild in eastern North America, so they're from Florida to Ontario and Quebec, Canada, and then they also go west to Texas and Wisconsin. 
These, in the wild, these turtles are found in slow flowing streams and rivers, as well as in lakes and ponds. So they spend most of their time in shallow areas and shallow water with a lot of plants and a lot of driftwood and rocks and things growing in the waters. So they don't have open clear waters. These turtles are often called stink pot turtles because they can smell when they become frightened or startled. Startled. I haven't experienced this yet and I thought that they would be frightened coming from the store into their new tank, but I didn't notice anything. So these turtles do stay very small. Their maximum length is about 4 to 4.5 inches. The males are a little bit larger than the females, but they won't reach more than 4.5 inches. In the wild, these turtles can live for 30 to 50 years. So when you keep these turtles as a pet, you need at least a 20 gallon aquarium for one turtle. If you have a pair, you need to have a 40 gallon aquarium. You will also need a filter. Turtles are known for kind of being messy and dirty animals, so a good filter is definitely required. These turtles, they're mostly aquatic and they don't usually leave the water, so you will need to provide a basking area, but they won't go up and bask very often. They'll usually be found walking around the bottom of the tank and kind of exploring in the plants and just kind of crawling along the bottom. But with that said, I need to remind you that you do also need a basking area for them because they do need the UV light and they do need the option to dry out their shell. They don't always swim, they like to kind of glide as I mentioned, so they will need a lot of climbing and rest spots for them to sit on. I already mentioned that I will be adding a lot more driftwood and rocks to this enclosure so that they will be able to reach the top basking area without having to swim too much and they will have a lot of rest spots. So when it comes to lighting and temperature, I did mention that these turtles do need a basking light even though they don't really bask. So they do need the UVB bulb. This helps them keep make calcium and without it they will have a vitamin A and a D, vitamin D3 deficiency. So they need to have that UVB light. You should keep the lights on for 12 hours and off for 12 hours so you want to kind of keep it as close to the natural rise of the sun and setting of the sun so you can kind of adjust that to your area but keep it as close to natural as possible. You will also need to have a heater in the water to keep the water temperatures from about 72 to 78 degrees. You wanna keep it warmer for younger turtles, so more in the 78 area if the turtles are younger. So they also like to have kind of cave type areas, places that they can climb on they do need a strong filter, as I mentioned, because they can be very messy. When it comes to the substrate, you don't even really need to put substrate. You can use river rocks. You, you can pretty open to use whatever that you want. And lastly, when it comes to feeding, in the wild, these common musk turtles will eat a variety of small snails, crayfish, aquatic insects, and they will also eat some plants. So you kind of want to copy that diet when they're kept as pets as well. You can feed them as pets earthworms, cut up fish and shrimp. You can feed them crickets and bloodworms, and you can also feed them the turtle pellets. But I would keep their diet very... Um, different with a lot of different things that you're offering them, especially when they're young. I would not recommend just giving them the turtle pellets. They will also eat algae wafers and mealworms and earthworms. You also should put some calcium on their food. I used to always be really kind of worried about how they would get the calcium because when I would cover my turtles food with calcium and put it in the water the calcium powder just flew right off the food so it didn't really make sense to me and I 
kind of knew that they weren't actually eating the calcium so I did put a cuddle bone in my turtles tank my red ear slider which I will be putting a cuddle bone for these guys as well another trick for the food you can take the food that you're feeding so if you're giving them a piece of chicken or a cricket you can put it in a bowl with the calcium and kind of mist the food or dampen the food that you're going to be feeding so get it wet and then coat it with the calcium so you're kind of getting the calcium to stick to it better this helps a little bit when you moisten it and then put the calcium on it it sticks a little bit better than if it was just coated dry so that's all for now for the common musk turtle if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can see the next steps for this tank and when I add the more driftwood and the rocks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to see similar videos on a lot of different animals. Thanks for watching. Bye.